There's a very slim to nothing chance of us getting into parliament, but if we are offered to sit in government, then we'll ask for the treasure. We're pirates. A record 41 factions are running in Israel's elections, and the vast majority haven't a hope of getting in. How long have you been dreaming of going into politics? From age 15. Why? No explanation. It's in your blood. Ten party lists were elected to the last Israeli parliament, the Knesset. For some Israelis, there aren't enough voices. Take the Jewish-Arab women-led Simply Love Party. So women has been hushed forever. Minorities are hushed forever. We are uh, the only, actually, party that is equal between Arabs and Jews. Let's also show, not just talk about equality, but actually show it. David Eres founded the From the Beginning Party, a former political advisor and lobbyist who uses Facebook to consult the public on what to push for. Many parties in Israel are fighting against Capitalism against socialism. No, we are taking both. You cannot do change with the, with the biggest parties in Israel. And the Pirate Party is the Israeli branch of the international network of pirate parties. We don't go right or left. If everyone goes to one side, then the ship will turn over. They have big dreams of remaking politics and radically reshuffling Israel's national priorities. These elections, it's run like a war. The men on both sides are fighting each other like crazy, and they're throwing back women and minority. The political discourse now, discourse now is about who's shouting the loudest and who is showing that there are more of a men. So our model is called Dynamocracy, and the Pirate Party wants to advance, first of all, the use of Internet for better participatory democracy. It's not about money. It's about management. If you're going inside Google and you write, um, strategic plan for economy for Israel, there is no such thing. And they're running to make a statement, even if they know they won't make it. The Israeli politics is mostly a joke, yes. Our potential voters don't take poli po politics too seriously in general. And I think humor is a very good method of criticizing. We're saying enough with hate. And the most powerful force against hate is love. Under the Israeli system, parties need 3.25% of the vote to get elected. And any votes for parties beneath that threshold go in the bin. Can the tiny parties persuade Israelis to put them over the top or raise their voices in protest? We don't give up.